just come my way Wherever I go, hard luck is dead and stay Good luck never stays a day A bad luck's always a come in my way For today's group adventure, we find ourselves in South Pasadena, California. In 2012, Tim Burton made an animated movie called Frankenweenie. But did you know that Frankenweenie was actually a live action short film that he made back in 1984? It starred Shelley Duvall, remember Wendy Torrance from The Shining, uh, Daniel Stern from Home Alone, as well as Barrett Oliver, the little kid that read the book in Never Ending Story. Baby Ghoul? We all love your green hair, but guess what? The 1984 live action Frankenweenie was all filmed in black and white, which means from here on out, this video is in black and white. I love doing these in black and white. The street that we're on here in South Pasadena is called Trafford Street. Now these palm trees, they're pretty, pretty freaking cool, right? Well, aside from them, when it comes to lining up shots from 1984's Frankenweenie, there's no landmarks. So you kind of have to watch the movie, take the time, and then walk the street, walk the neighborhood, and find the houses. And we did just that. And of course, we're going to take you along with us. Now here's the thing. If you haven't seen the movie Frankenweenie, or in case you need a refresher course. Basically, it's the story of Frankenstein, but told through the eyes of Tim Burton and a little boy. A little boy has a dog, his best friend, loves him so much. And one day while playing ball, Frankenweenie, the dog, get it, Frankenweenie? He gets hit by a car. And the little boy brings him back to life using science experiments, like a, like a grade school science experiment kind of thing. It's a really cute story. The opening shots of Frank and Weenie are of this house right here. Well, actually on the inside, Victor, the kid, is showing the family his newest monster movie starring his dog, Sparky. Now, it's a hit. Everybody freaking loves it. And afterwards, Shelley Duvall's character offers everybody chocolate chip cookies. They eat cookies and they come right out the front door. And they sit right there on the steps. This is it, the house from Frankenweenie. And then after that, Victor comes right down here towards the bottom and he has a ball and he's playing with Sparky who ends up being Frankenweenie. And he ends up rolling the ball right down here. The ball goes right down these steps, right across the sidewalk and out into the street. For the most part, everything still looks the same, including the three houses that are right across the street. Now Jessica was lining up this shot. Now you see from right about this angle as the baseball comes rolling down this sidewalk out into the middle of the street. We're gonna go out there and look both ways just to, for, you know, for safety. But Frankenweenie, well Sparky, because he's still alive, at this time he's Sparky, he comes out after it. And it's right about here. This exact spot where Sparky gets hit and Victor loses it. It's funny, a little bit of Hollywood movie magic. It's that window right there that Victor is looking out mourning the death of Sparky. And it looks like it's raining, but as the camera pulls back outside, you see Shelley Duvall is watering the garden. But the window 
it looks exactly as it did when Victor was looking out of it in Frankenweenie. Now, class, this X-frog cannot move because it is, in fact, an X-frog. Let's see what happens when we introduce electricity into his system. After getting the idea of how to resurrect or reanimate dead tissue in school, Victor runs home. And this sidewalk right here, this is the, the path that he would have taken. You can see that house and that staircase right there. And he passes right by these trees. This is like the only trees like this in South Pasadena. Now when we come down this way past Jessica, you can see this, this concrete wall. In the movie, you can see that clear as day as Victor runs right past it. The very next shot is pretty much from right where I am standing as Victor runs right up the steps to his home. Man, this is cool. There's another shot of the house where Victor's mother is leaving and she comes down these steps and gets in the car. And as she does that, we see that Victor, I'm gonna to try to do this all in one long shot. Victor is peeking around a palm tree. And it's this exact palm tree right here. And what's really cool, right about there, off in the distance behind him watching is one of the neighbors watering her lawn. And there's a guy over there watering a lawn right now. What's that? I forgot my lunch. That's what he says. <laughs> That's I forgot right. my lunch. How fitting that there's a sign right here on the street that says slow children playing because, well, here's the next scene that we're gonna talk about. With Sparky alive once again, and now fully Frankenweenie, we get a shot from right about here looking down this street. And you see two kids playing ball in the middle of the street. And if you look closely, one of those kids was actually in the TV show Wonder Years and the movie Monster Squad. Now before we go any further, we're going to take a walk down to the end of the street because in this scene, there's a garage and a lamppost that can be seen. And you really can't tell with our cameras. Now for the longest time, I thought it was depth of field, but one of you guys who was watching our channel a couple weeks ago made a comment that it's actually a filmmaking term called compression, which when you see a lot of like depth of field tricks or effects in movies, that's what this is. But you can't see it with our camera, so we're gonna walk down there and show you. Yeah, there's absolutely no way that we'd be able to see this through our lens. But you see that garage in the center of your screen, that lamppost and that telephone pole? All three of those things can be seen in the movie Frankenweenie. Let's get closer over here. The garage still looks the same. That is cool. Oh, it's funny, walking the neighborhood, lining up shots, we noticed over here, in the middle of these trees, there's a Tin Man. That's really freaking cool. See the things you find, not even knowing what's in your own backyard. That's a beautiful house too. Now let's walk through this scene. The yard and the house and the shed that Frankenweenie runs into is the next door neighbor 
Mr. Chambers, who's played by Joseph Mayer, very well-known actor in all kinds of different things. Now, right next to his house is this house over here, which was Mrs. Epstein's house. Now, she was the big lady walking the dog. Now, in this scene, Mr. Chambers is spooked by Frankenweenie, and Frankenweenie and comes running out in between these two houses, right where that white part of the fence is. And we get a shot of this scene from the point of view from a camera right behind Mrs. Epstein as she's watering her lawn and her flowers from right about here. Frank and Weenie comes bolting out, knocks over the trash can. She screams, drops the hose. Mr. Chambers comes running out after and chaos ensues. All right, baby goal, are you familiarizing yourself with the Frank and Weenie filming locations over here? Now here's the thing. We've done everything we can about the front of the house, the street filming locations, but there are more filming locations in the alleyway behind the houses. So let's go check them out. Now keep in mind, not only did they film here in South Pasadena, but they also built sets in the sound stages, the Disney sound stages. So there's only, <laughs> There's not many to visit, but it's kind of cool just walking through it and just seeing the neighborhood, isn't it? Now the alleyway, it's just right over here to the right. Oh my gosh, baby gold, there's pumpkins. <laughs> you can't touch these pumpkins, they belong to somebody else. Now here's a little bit of movie magic for you. From right about here, this is the shot towards the beginning of the movie where Victor is gathering objects to, to build his laboratory out of the garage and Mr. Chambers notices something going on and you see him looking just beyond that fence. It's a wooden fence now, but back whenever they made the movie, it was a chain link fence. And you can see this wall of this garage here By bringing it back into the house? I'm just doing what he wants. Now what's really interesting is Mr. Chambers is looking technically into the yard of Victor, right where I'm standing. But in all actuality, Victor's house is on the other side. So that's what I mean by a little bit of movie magic. Now also, there's another scene where you can see Mr. Chambers in the backyard and there's a fountain. The fountain is no longer here as well as a couple of the trees. All of that has changed. Keep in mind, 1984. But this is the backyard of Mr. Chambers. A lot was filmed here. You want me to prove it? I'll show you. There's one thing that you can see that still looks exactly as it did back when they made Frank and Weenie. In the scene right before you see the fountain, Mr. Chambers' daughter is in her little dollhouse, her little playhouse in the backyard, exercising with her Barbie doll. Barbie, you're not working hard enough. And she screams because she's spooked by Frankenweenie, and her dad, Mr. Chambers, comes running out that door right there. It's still the same. The siding is a little bit different, but it's the same door, same windows. Well, this is a little sad, but I have to point it out because it kind of fits the subject matter of early Tim Burton movies. One-Eyed Willie, missing since November 14th, 2020. It's this little black cat somewhere in the neighborhood. Now, here's why I wanted to share this. Now, of course, a missing family member like One-Eyed Willie is very sad, and who knows, hopefully, maybe somewhere down the line, somebody watches this and says, hey, I know where One-Eyed Willie is, and he returns them to his family. Now, what I meant about this having something to do with early Tim Burton movies and stories. Two of Tim Burton's earliest films, short films, were Frankenweenie and Vincent. Now, Vincent was about this little boy who was obsessed with Vincent Price and he had a cat. It was a very creepy, 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 
cartoon. It was, it was really good. I liked it. Now, there's a bunch of fan theories out there. One of the big ones being that in Frankenweenie, Victor and Frankenweenie, grown up, is Victor and Scraps from The Corpse Bride. And then in the afterlife, in some sort of weird fan universe, is Jack Skellington and Zero. Kind of cool, right? You gotta love fan theory. So that is why One-Eyed Willie has something to do with our Tim Burton story. I just love that he's called One-Eyed Willie because he's a black cat with a one eye, but you know we all love Goonies, so I love the reference. And I think that's about it for us in our adventure into the mind of early Tim Burton. Now you'll find often on our channel, I say that we like to do deep cuts. This one here definitely is a deep cut. 1984 Tim Burton short film Frankenweenie, which went on to become an animated feature that came out in 2012. Now here's what's really cool about this. Something I absolutely love. If I'm not mistaken, Baby Goal, we're the very first people ever to document Frankenweenie 1984 filming locations. How about them apples? Ooh, spooky, spooky. Oh yeah, happy Halloween.